Wake up, we have a show to do. It's time for Good Morning LCA. It's time to get your news on. Hi, I'm Erica. Hey guys, I'm Josh. Today is Monday, March 24th, 2014. Hi everyone, I'm Alexa, and we have a great show planned for you today. Are you ready? We are. Sorry, I had a busy weekend. Let's start off our day with this month's character trait. The character trait for March is forgiveness. And the definition for forgiveness is assigning that someone who has wronged you does not have to pay. The verse for forgiveness comes from Colossians 3.13. It says, Forgive one another if any of you has grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. What an awesome verse. All right, guys. You know what comes next. It's time to say the pledge. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Time for the latest up-to-the-minute to news. Get ready to be informed. The Spring Book Fair begins today. That's right, today! I'm so excited! Me too. And the carnival is tomorrow after school. I can't wait for that. Miss Hamilton, you rock! I love our book fairs. Remember, this year's theme is Fiesta! Ole, 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 ole! Ole, 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 ole! The first Great Pet Show is coming up soon. More details on that later. I've always wanted a pet rhino. That would be so cool. I've always wanted a pet elephant, but my dad says they eat too much. Guys, you can't have it. You can't have a wild animal for a pet. That just doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Moving on, our, dra- our drama department will be performing cheaper by the dozen. Tickets are available online. Performances will be April 3rd through the 5th. Laps for Legacy is right around the corner. Get your running shoes ready and keep those animations coming. Remember, some of the cool prizes you can have the chance to win include Raffi the Giant Giraffe and Isabelle the American Girl Doll of the Year. Plus, we have tons of cool class prizes your class can win by getting in those donations. Last year we raised money for technology. This year we're raising money for the library. That's it for the news. It's time for the spring weather report. I love saying that because I love spring. It's my favorite time of the year. You know, tulips, daffodils, the trees blooming and the birds singing. Yeah, get out those tissues. You know, sneezing and itchy eyes. Just kidding, I'm glad spring too. Winter was too long for me. This week it will kind of feel like spring with our high temps climbing up into the 50s and 60s with mostly sunny skies. Should feel wonderful. And the lows at night will dip into the 40s and 50s. Not too bad. We still need the rain, but we don't have any in the forecast. Maybe next week. That's it for the weather report. You mean that's it for the spring weather report? Of course. Action! Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I ever get back. It's time for some legacy sports. Our boys varsity baseball team has this week off. Their next game will be Tuesday, April the 1st against Avila Christian. This is an away game and will be played at the Waxahachie Recreation Complex. Waxa what? Waxa, oh I can't even say it. It's Waxahachie. Oh, oh that's, that's how, how you say it. it. Thanks, Erica. Okay, our girls' varsity softball team plays tonight at home against Lake Hill Prep. This game starts at 7 o'clock. Go with the Eagles! And remember, there are all kinds of sporting events happening at, at Legacy all the time. We have varsity, junior varsity, and junior high games. Plus, we have golf, tennis, and track. Be sure to... Be sure to check out the Lexi website for all the latest sport updates and information. That's it for the sports. Play ball! Play ball.
the buzz on books is coming up is coming up next. Our terrific librarian, Miss Hamilton, is coming to bring us all the latest library news. Take it away, Miss Hamilton. Book Fair Week! Olé, 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 olé! Woo! I'm so excited! Official shopping starts today. Carnival and after school shopping at the fair until 5.30 tomorrow, which is Tuesday, March 24th. I love the carnival. It is so much fun. You could win a goldfish, get your face painted, get a snow cone, break confetti egg on your friend's head, maybe even your teacher, and so much more. I may have to buy some tickets and race you in the sack race. Oh well. Tickets are on sale online and at the door to play games and buy food. If you want a chance to win a free book or poster from the book fair, be sure to turn in a poster to your teacher of your favorite book by this Wednesday. Your teacher will have your poster in the hallway and the judges will be by to pick their favorite posters from each class on Wednesday afternoon. The winners will be announced on Thursday. Good luck to you. We will also have guessing games in the library this week as well. We should have lots of winners this week. I wish the book fair would last all year. It's so much fun. I also wish I knew a little bit more Spanish for our cool Mexico fiesta theme. Maybe you could teach me some. Well, on to other news. We have three birthday books to announce. Matthew Fortson had a birthday last Friday, March 21st, and Matthew is in Mrs. Walsh's class. Matthew donated a magic treehouse book called Hurry Up Houdini. Houdini is a famous magician. I bet that will be a fun book to read. Thanks for your donation, Matthew. Peyton Grubbs in Mrs. Collins' third grade class has a birthday this Tuesday, March 25th, Carnival Day. What a fun way to spend your birthday, Peyton, partying at the carnival. Peyton donated whatever after if the shoe fits. I love this series. Kennedy Clough in Mrs. Snyder's first grade class has a birthday this Friday, March 28th, and Kennedy donated Ramona forever. Thank you, Kennedy. Ramona is really popular in the library. She's really funny. Well, that's it for the library news for the week. I will see you guys at the fair. Bye. Mrs. Hamilton, you're the man. Miss Hamilton's not a man. <sighs> Josh, it's just a figure of speech. Fine, Josh, if you want it your way. Mrs. Hamilton, you rock. It's time for Bible trivia. That means it's time to learn something new from God's Word. Are you ready? Alexa, you had a great question last time. Do you think anyone got this one? Alexa asked, what did Jesus say is the greatest commandment? That's right. And the answer is, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. You can find this in chap Matthew chapter 22, verse 37. Okay, time for a new question. Erica, can you come up with one for today? I sure can. Give me a minute to think. Oh, I have a hard one, but second grade may know this one. Are you ready? Why did Naomi ask to be called Mara? Are you kidding me? That's a really hard one. Okay, guys, if you don't know this one, you can look it up in the Book of Ruth. Be sure to watch us next time to see if you guessed it right. That's it for Bible Trivia. That's our show for today. We hope you feel up to date. And informed. And have a super califragilistic, us be all kind of day. I wonder how to say that backwards. Let's try. Let's not. I'll try. Let me try. Califragic expialis super cali chali What? <laughs> Let's just forget it. Time for shout outs. Shout out to my parents, grandparents, Kaylee, Alexa, and Gabriella. And Sh my coach. Shout out to Sydney and our awesome librarians. Shout out to my baseball team and Sean and Ethan. Bye. 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 Bye.